just raise your hand when you have a question. We'll get a mic to you. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach and then take questions for the student athletes first and then go back to Coach. So with that, Coach. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> it, was a, uh, it was an amazing college baseball game. Uh, we just happened to end up on the, the wrong side of it. Um, both teams played well. Um, <clears throat> just a, a lot of courage on, on display out there on the field. And uh, you know, we, uh, we hung in there all day long. Uh, every guy we put to the mound or sent to the mound uh, competed awfully well and uh, <clears throat> got a couple of big time clutch hits in the ninth there to uh, turn it and uh, had the right guy on the mound, a uh, kid who's pitched more times in our uniform than anyone in history at OSU and uh, was out there with the game on the line, the right guy. And sometimes someone on the other team does something special and, and they have a moment and that's what happened. So I'm um, proud of my kids. It was a heck of a game, uh, a tough one to lose. Um, but in the end, I, I just think that's a that's a postseason college baseball game played at the highest level. Questions for the student athletes? We'll, we'll start right down here in the front right, guys. Hey, Garrett, I know it was a really tough loss, but you, you hit for the cycle. What, what just what's your, what, what's your thoughts on doing that in, in such a high-level game? Uh, I mean, I was, I, I was pretty um, excited whenever it first happened. Uh, but I mean, as soon as as soon as that was over, I just tried to switch switch the uh, mind to all, or defense, and uh, so I could compete well on defense. Uh, I mean, I just tried to basically short live it, and then. Um, but it, it was it, it was a great time. Yeah. Back down to the front right. Uh, two questions for for Trey. Um, first of all, you're out there when they when the when the guys come all the way back to get you the lead. Um, your observations of that as it was happening, it looks like you know you guys have been living on that kind of uh, finish all year. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, the guys performed in the clutch. You know, Garrett and Garrett have been really good for us all year, and they came up they came up really big for us. Um, you know, it, it's tough uh, to not finish the job, but whenever you know you see that kind of like rally and that kind of motivation and fierce competition from our guys not to give up. You know, that's going to play into tomorrow, too, you know, because, you know, this thing's not over. It takes two to get you out of here. And, um, you know, our, our guys, have, we've had our backs against the wall for a while now. And so uh, this is nothing new. And uh, I think we showed that in the ninth, just the fight and confidence that we had to get it done. Sure. It's, it, I'm sure it's never good to give up a home run. Never feels good. Never feels good to give up a walk off. But when they've come all the way back from that, from down 3 0, and then that happens, does that make it hurt even more? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, because you're sitting there and, you're on the bench and everybody, you know, everybody in the dugout's confident that you're going to win the game now. Um, I threw the ball pretty well. Um, really through those three innings, the kid made a great swing on a fastball low and out. Um, all credit goes to him. You know, he's a great hitter. And, um, you know, I thought the game was over in our favor as soon as he hit it. And then the wind kind of got it and just took it with it. So, but man, that's a heck of a swing from that kid. And, um, you know, all, all credit goes to him. But, um, you know, it's, it's tough. You, you never want to you never want to end the game um, with something, you know, with you throwing the ball and then hitting a home run like that. But, um, you know, we just got to come back, flush it, and come back tomorrow and compete. Back down in front to Bob. I, I was actually going to ask you what you threw, and if you thought it was a good location, you answered that. So, um, somebody else want to? You want to? Oh, I'm just going to. Right to your left, guys. Garrett, this will be, I think, the fourth time you guys have faced elimination in the span of a couple of weeks. So not a spot that you guys aren't familiar with. Uh, no. I mean, as far as we're concerned, we've uh, we've been in our playoffs for a couple of weeks now. I mean, ever since back to uh, the Bedlam series, whenever we had to win those two games just to get into the Big 12 tournament. So, I mean, we've had our backs against the wall for quite a while now, and I'm still 100% confident in everyone up and down the lineup that uh, we can we can pull through and get the job done. Any more questions for the student athletes? OK, thanks, guys. Questions for Coach Holiday. Front down to the left. Uh, Coach, just so the, the play at the plate with Sluter, just how close, you know, what was your view of it? I thought it was close. Um, that's probably all I'm allowed to say. Obviously, I went out and asked him if he was sure because I wasn't. And I guess the other question, <coughs> excuse me, the, the other question just would be who would you start tomorrow? Uh, Joe Lenhart. Josh, this wave that you guys are on right now, 
after you took the lead in the ninth, I'm sure you were confident you'd win at that point, but did you just kind of feel like it was a destiny situation after you'd done that? Well, um, I was just proud of the way we were hanging in there every pitch. But, but I think one thing we know, and, and I don't think anybody on our team um, – thought well the game's automatically over because one of the biggest things we've learned throughout the season is how critical it is to finish a game to the very last pitch um, because great college baseball games in general go down to the last pitch Th we know that so we, we didn't by any means uh, think oh this is over especially the spot in the batting order that was leading off for them uh, they're one of the better hitting teams in the country and we've navigated the big 12 all year which you know had its fair share of excellent teams and outstanding hitters and uh, those boys in the middle of their order are pretty special and they're older experienced stronger kids that have taken a lot of clutch at bats and uh, I compliment them they're very good and those were very difficult hitters to navigate and I wouldn't have wanted anyone in the world out there to do it more than Trey and he made a good pitch <laughs> and the kid he barreled it and he's a strong kid and he, he hit it, it with good trajectory and he's tipping cap to him I mean I'm not gonna we didn't lose the game they won it that's all the, that's all there is to it that's 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 the reality of how the the competition played out and what we have to deal with is um we have to come through the losers bracket as a result but i give them credit you know we we did our thing and we were in there to the last pitch and and they did their thing and that's sometimes the the spirit of sport the cycle such a rare event could you speak to garrett's accomplishment today well it just tells you all you need to know about him you know he went one for what 16 at the big 12 tournament and turned the page and walked in here and hit for the cycle. That's all you need to know about him. He is, he is a baseball player as they are created to love the game, whether it's good or bad. And uh, he had a tough week and he turned right around and walked out here today and hit for the cycle. So I think that tells you a little bit how special his mind is, how tough he is and how gritty he is. And uh, he and Garrett McCain, um, man, that's been, a, that's been something fun to watch. These guys have been special. and. I wasn't surprised when Garrett got a hit and Benji knocked him in. It, I wasn't surprised. In fact, I kind of expected it. Just right down in front. To that end, Josh, if you, as you kind of expected it, you guys chip away, you're down 3-0, chip away, one in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the sixth. Then you get two in the ninth. Paint a picture for us. What's the dugout like? What's the mindset like? What's the chatter like? I mean, because you guys obviously never, never give yeah. up on stuff like that. Well, <clears throat> college baseball teams – tend to feed off of, of runs. You tend to see the energy amp up when you score. And and obviously coming off of scoring there too, the energy was high. And and then the tension builds because you're you're navigating the last out, which is the toughest one in baseball. And so the kids were on the rail and they were engaged and we had our guy on the mound and Trey Cobb who uh, like I've said before, I mean his kids pitch more than anyone ever wear a uniform. So it, it was awesome. That's what this is about. That's why you fight so hard to get here. And uh, the moment, you know, right there, just it turned, and they, and they had it. So, um, but uh, as the kids said, we've we've been uh, enjoying the opportunity to create these moments, and we'll have to bounce back tomorrow and and uh, turn the page. Front row to the left. What did you see from Blake at the beginning that he just didn't, he maybe didn't have his control early on? Oh man, he's pitched so so good in the last couple of months. Just been such a really has developed into such a battler for us and such a tough-minded competitor. And I think really just maybe getting his – his um, it looked like the first inning, just trying to find the rhythm on that mound and get dialed into that setting. And then he did settle in. And a lot of close pitches, but some pitches that just didn't quite make it to the locations he wanted. And then, you know, he just hung in there. He obviously wasn't as sharp as we've seen him, but he certainly competed. And uh, between he and Carson and – <clears throat> Trey, I mean, that's a great quality start against a team as good as Missouri State. I thought our kids did a great job of stabilizing the game and giving us a chance to win. I, I thought they did a good job, but Blake just looked like he was trying to settle, and, 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 you know, he just didn't quite get that rhythm going that allowed him to pitch deeper in the game. You go to Carson early there uh -huh. with that in mind, hey, we need to stabilize it right yeah. here. Yes, um, it's a short tournament, and it's not a tournament that you're going to sit around and, and – and, uh, uh, you know, hold your guys. You're going to go play each game one at a time to the best of your ability. Uh, one, to try to stay in the winner's bracket, and two, to extend your season. And the next man up, wherever you get to, right? So um, we knew with their left-handed hitting lineup and it being very quality, uh, having seen them once before, that, um, you know, left-handed pitcher at some point early may be necessary to, to bring the game back to the middle. And so that's, that's why we made that decision. Any more questions for Coach?